Okay, here we're going to do another integration problem using u substitution. So we'll do uh, our second one here, part b. Um, so we've got the integral of y times the fifth root of 3y squared plus 1. So again, when I see something like this, you know, obviously the section is on substitution. Um, so we know it has something to do with the substitution, but eventually you'll just get problems and you're going to learn all these different techniques and you'll kind of say, hmm, you know, getting started is oftentimes, I think if you talk to people that have done integration, getting started is oftentimes the hardest thing. So one thing that would kind of uh, stick out to me is I see underneath the radical we have basically something squared. We have this y squared. That's my highest power. Well, if I take the derivative of something involving y squared, I'm going to get uh, like a 2y to the first power. I'll be left with a y to the first, and that's good because that's, you know, present in the problem. There is a y to the first left over. So to me, that's kind of something that, that, uh, that clues me in that maybe a u substitution would work. So again, this is a fifth root. I'm just going to write that as the one-fifth power. Again, when I'm doing derivatives or antiderivatives, I like to see the exponent. But now we're going to pick our um, u. So again, uh, it's kind of start simple. So I'm going to pick it to be 3y squared plus 1, just the stuff in the parentheses. So our d du, let's see, the 2 will come out front, so we'll get 6y to the first, and then we'll tack on our dy. So this is kind of one of the things, too, you have to be careful about. You know, we're doing antiderivatives, but to do that, we also have to do derivatives. So, you know, it's, I always used to have to remind myself, you know, sort of which way am I going, derivatives or antiderivatives. All right, so again, now if we go to relabel, um, let's see, at least in the parentheses, again, that's what we're calling u. So we have u to the one-fifth. And then I think, you know, left over, we would have to replace a y and a dy, that's what's kind of now remaining. Well, here's my y and my dy. I want to get that isolated, um, so to do that, I'm just going to multiply both sides by 1 over 6. So it says 1 over 6 times du would equal y times dy. So that's what I'm going to replace the y dy with. I'm going to replace it with 1 sixth du, and I'm just going to pull the 1 sixth out front. Here's my du. So we could, I don't know, write this a little more compactly. 1 over 6, the integral of u to the 1 fifth. And now when we integrate, um, so now we're in a position, we just have a variable to a power. So we'll be a little careful with our, um, you know, our exponents. So now we're adding 1, so we're adding 5 over 5. Well, 1 over 5 plus 5 over 5 would give us 6 over 5. And then we divide by 6 over 5, that new exponent. Well, okay, so dividing by 6 over 5 is the same thing as multiplying by 5 over 6. And then we still have our u to the 6 over 5 power plus c. But again, now I'm going to replace my u with, you know, our, our original substitution. So we can plug in our 3y squared plus 1. And, you know, if you want to, uh, it never hurts, I guess we can multiply these constants. I guess we would have 5 over 36, 3y squared plus 1 raised to the 6 fifths plus c, and that will now be our antiderivative.